And now we're back. It's we good to be back. Let's go. Thomas, first of all, it's good to see you. Thanks for your time. Likewise. Um, oh, thank you. Um, how was your summer? Did you have a chance to, to switch off at all? Of course, it was a long summer, uh, but it felt not so long because I was in, in Paris, helped my family to move the house, finish school for the kids and, and uh, were there. I learned it to, to relax when there's no football. So I, um, I came a long way, but in, in, uh, right now I'm very good at it. So it was a stressful thing moving house as well, isn't it? Yeah, but my wife took uh, took charge of it, so I did not get in the way too much. Uh, and I left uh, the responsibilities where they belong. And now it's, it's good that they that they join and that they have the same feeling that I have and they're close to me. This is uh, how it should be and how we want it to be. And it's, it's good. And it's also nice for me to be back now. And uh, it's a good feeling. Did you actually switch off? Are you able to just sort of like push it all to one side and fo focus yeah, on everything aside from the football? Yes, but of course there are some phone calls and messages with Petra and Marina and uh, also with my assistants, but in a, in a very relaxed way. There's no need for stress and no need for to, to rush things. But I would call, call it a, a pretty solid holiday that I had. Sounds good. I guess a perfect opportunity to reflect on what was an incredible first six months of the club. Yeah. But I'm not so much the, the reflective type, I have to say. I'm, I'm more always up front, up front and try to live in the moment, but, but I'm more forward thinking. But when you feel that you touched a lot of persons and that's uh, the best thing that you can do with football. Bring some emotions and bring them to your, bring positive emotions to your family and to your friends and that's the job, job done. Here we are for, for pre-season, always a busy period. Is it a time that you enjoy as a coach? I like training camp because it's it's kind of very condensed. It's like being in a the church where, where they're like the, the priests sometimes live, but not the priests. Are the, is it monks or is it? Oh, okay. You're like in a monastery. Yeah, like a monastery. It feels like kind of you have your hotel room, you're with your, your team, you don't go out. You're just fu fully focused on planning, on on reporting, on on controlling, on speaking to the players and working on the. Uh, on the atmosphere, working on the principles of the game, and this is like, yeah, we're we're all alone here, like without our families, and it's like, yeah, it feels it feels good, it, it feels so connected to to the game. Pretty busy, pretty tiring, but but uh, full of energy and full of energy that we want to create, and hopefully positive energy that you get out of it. I I have a big big smile on my face every single day because uh, the group is doing so, so well in terms of, of um, quality, but in terms of atmosphere and, and um, devotion and uh, work rate. And, and this is uh, amazing to be a part of it. Is the attitude and that quality that you spoke of, is, is that the main thing you, you look for at this stage of pre-season? We always look for attitude, honestly. What else is there? I mean, they are full of talent, all of them. We look for attitude and we want, if we hire, we want to hire for attitude. And we have, uh, we, the, the bar is high and the team set the bar high, we set it together high. And this is from where we start. And this is what we demand from ourselves, uh, clearly. And uh, the way we approach things was we, we took care about the process, the daily process. We took care how we are together, when we are together, how do we train, what do we train. And, and how we live up to it. Do we talk about it or do we do it? And, and this team did it, I mean, from the very first beginning to the very end. And now it's uh, a big, big part of our job and uh, my job and the player's job is uh, to forget the success and to restart again. And I demand it from the players, so I demand it from myself. Does it also then give these players an opportunity to impress you at of this course. stage with players coming back later on? Of course, life is full of possibilities. And for these guys, this is the possibility, clearly. And I cannot do a promise. I cannot tell anybody after one week, oh, you will be a big part in next, in next season's plans. No, but I, I, what I really love about, about these guys that they are so positive about it. And I have really the feeling they live in the moment and they take this as an opportunity to, to enjoy and to be also grateful and we take full care of them. And then let's see, I, I have no promise now to make, but of course we, we look very, very carefully and um, Nobody can predict the future, so everything is possible, always. You spoke about celebrations, incredible scenes in Porto, obviously yeah. after the game. I know that was the last time that we spoke. 
Can you tell us about the lucky shoes? Because we've got those incredible shots of you pouring drink in the shoes. In, in, yeah, in the change. started that. Marcos, <laughs> Marcos started drinking out of it. He yeah. has a brilliant sense of humor. I was like, laughing. Yeah. Crazy. Well, I, I told the team just before the game, nothing can happen because I brought the shoes. I gave a promise in Paris, uh, where the president gave me the shoes as a present, uh, that I will wear them when we reach a um, Champions League final. We reached a Champions League final, but I left them at home and I didn't let them send back, so or let them send to us and, and not, did not wear them in the final and we lost against Bayern Munich. So I always, there was always this thought in my, my head somewhere and uh, I should have uh, I should have kept my word I should have walked the talk and so when we arrived now I told my wife at home I think she needs to bring me the shoes and the idea was born and then I informed my staff and then we had the very last talk in the dressing room I explained the, the situation to my players and told them if there is one thing I learned from the last final you have to you have to, to keep your word and they don't they should not worry because I wear the lucky shoes today and uh, okay. well <laughs> perfect have you still got them I, I, I kept them um, Christian Pulisic made me keep them <laughs> and he said if we go again you wear them again so the new season is coming around very quickly isn't it from your perspective at this stage what does success look like for you this year would you say I'm always, uh, I'm always hesitating to give like we want to win A, B, C, D because uh, I cannot predict the circumstances in which we are in. We have to take uh, all challenges is clear. It's, uh, we play to win all challenges in, in, uh, in which we play. We don't hesitate to, to say it, but we can now lose our, our head in, in um, how good are we? How good are the others? Is this a good uh, opening program? Is this a disadvantage, uh, an advantage? How many players are the Euros? It's, it's in the end, it, it leads nowhere and it ends up in excuse, uh, excuses. So anything, everything what we want to achieve, we achieve today because it's, today is the only day that we can influence. So today is the day to achieve our goals and tomorrow is the next day and from there we go. I know this is always the same answer, but this is the way. We have to cherish the, 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 the process and the, the actual time we are in now and this is it and this is where all the energy goes and this is where all the concentration focus and all the work goes and the rest takes hopefully care of itself um, like it did last season. <laughs> so it certainly did. I know finally, Thomas, the fans are going to be very excited watching this. I know they're looking forward to the start of the season. What's it going to mean to you and that group of players to finally play in front of a full house at Stamford Bridge once again? I cannot, uh, cannot believe how pleased we are. And we cannot wait for it. Like uh, That was a, a fantastic experience to play at the Leicester game in front of uh, 16,000 or 20,000 and it felt like a, f like a full stadium. It was such a nice experience to have Porto with uh, 20,000 uh, spectators. This makes a huge difference. It, it changes the game completely. The, the energy of the game, the intensity, the, the, yeah, the, the whole game is a, is a different game with spectators. So we're absolutely happy that they will be back and hopefully stay back and hopefully stay back safe during the whole season. And uh, we are here to entertain them. This is uh, football and this is sports and we are here to produce results but at the same time we want to make them feel the energy in the team and, um, and they, they missed quite a lot in, in the last half a year so it's good to have them back and, and um, welcome to join the ride. We wish you luck. Thanks.